Okay, Troy, here's how I'm doing this. This is just the edit mode. Pictures of product are over here. As the scroll bar hits whatever the next product is, that's my, my next cue. So I'm just hitting switch, switch right there. So without a timesheet, I can just follow my scroll bar. And I know the show well enough to put that right on the beat right there. Right there. And right there. Um, I'll do title menus too, as you can see over here, just to tell me when I'm first organizing my thoughts how I want projects to fire. So it's telling me what's slat down here, and if the shells are uh, angled at 20 degrees or 15 degrees or whatever I want at over here. So this time I'm doing the show just because there's a lot of cues on it, and uh, I'll just play the music back out of Pinnacle just like this. And uh, so the audience will hear that, and I can just watch my screen. It'll shift over like this, and I can just keep going, flipping through cues, because I'll have over probably about 200 cues full. So if you have any questions, let me know. But this is, uh, this is how I plan on shooting the show. Oh, I also, I'll put a little bit of finale up in here too. I also uh, kind of bounce back and forth between finale fireworks, but I'm still shooting off the pinnacle. Okay, here's finale. This is new for me. I'm just kind of getting used to it this year. But uh, this has been really helpful to help kind of visualize what's going on. I don't know how familiar you are with it. But uh, here's kind of that same opener in finale, which also lets you do voice cues, I believe, for the, the full game version. This is about 50 bucks. So if you're just looking for voice cues, this may be the way to go. The only problem with this, I've noticed, is uh, there's a lot of 1-4 cakes that aren't in there. But here's kind of how this works. Same concept though too, there's no reason why you couldn't just shoot from this, watching the hits right here. I do notice it's a little bit harder to see if you had a lot of stuff happening real quick. So a couple times I'm doing some stuff, just boom, boom, boom. Three quick hits, and that's hard to see on this. But this lets you export voice cues too, but if you're doing voice cues in Pinnacle, that should be fine as well. Putting uh, just recording stereo, like you, I think you said you were doing the voice cues on the right channel and audio on the left and just sum that mono channel out to uh, to your speakers. Um, there's quite a few threads on that I think on the U so do a Google search with Pyro U in there and uh, you'll probably get most of that. Any other questions let me know but uh, that's the same section in 3D it's a bit easier to kind of see like this but uh, hope this helps.